we have here is some grass that I've processed, stripped down, base and wild rye. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make some cordage out of it um, by using two uh, twisting sticks that I made out of willow. So the first thing I want to do is take the top of this and uh, uh, just tie it so that it stays together in a nice bundle. So again, that's nice and tight. The grass is already fairly strong. Now I can do a couple things. One, I can make this into a two-strand rope, um, or I can make it into a three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make it into a three-strand rope, and I'll show you how that's done. You can do this with willow bark. You can do it with uh, uh, most grasses, uh, lots of different items. Anything that you can make cordage out of, you can uh, put this into... Uh, cordage rope. So we've got one bundle. Two bundles. So I've got three bundles here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and tie this up to a, a post so that I can be able to pull on that to start twisting it. I want to go ahead and just twist these by hand to help with some of the shorter strands to get those twisted up. I'm going to twist this the same way. So I'm going left to right. Now I want to go ahead and put this through the fork of my stick, and I'm just going to tie this up here, and then just start wrapping it around and around my stick until it catches right here in the center, and that's going to hold it. Same thing here. So they're fairly even, like this. One of the things that I added on here was just putting a stick in between two of my wraps there, and that just keeps it from twisting on me. So I'm going to go the same direction, allow my rope to twist up. If I need to, I can go ahead and just cross it um, to help twist it up a little more. But generally, as you pull on this, it's going to start making rope. I get close to the end, it's just a matter of unwrapping more cordage. I could go ahead and just lay another strand in here um, on both sides, and then I can just go back to my finger roll to where I'm twisting, pulling away, twisting. And what this is going to do is just allow me to add more rope onto it as I go until I'm finished. Um, what I'll do though is I'll go ahead and uh, make just the uh, tie right here and then I'll show you how to make it into a three strand.
just to finish off my cordage again, I'll just tie an overhand knot into my piece of cordage. The nice thing about this is that where this is a two strand, and you can see the difference in the, the diameter, the three strand again is much stronger if I need a larger diameter cordage or just need more strength uh, to put into there. So again, this is just using grasses. Uh, the same principle will work with, with willow bark, uh, palm leaves, uh, rattan, all those different uh, uh, plants that will make good cordage. But this is kind of a quick way by just making yourself a couple of these fork sticks that you can go ahead and just hand twist it, uh, which works a little quicker then.